Red light cameras, touted as lifesavers, also generate millions of dollars in fines. At one intersection in Oakland, California, cameras raise more than $3 million a year. Ronald Pond, who works half a block from the intersection, knows this all too well. Well, I got a ticket at that red light camera and it's $541. Right turn on red, got the ticket at like 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, no other traffic around. I don't think it had anything to do with safety. 21 states have okayed red light cameras, but nine states have banned them, and activists want them shut down in many more. The problem with red light cameras is it's a revenue-based system. If it actually reduced red light running, they would put themselves out of business. Roger Jones is a retired Bay Area distribution manager who has been fighting red light cameras since receiving a camera ticket in 2009. He founded the Red Light Camera Protest Group, organizes demonstrations, and says there are simpler, better ways to prevent red light running. To reduce violations, extend the yellow lights. It's not a matter of rewarding scoff laws. When you give people a better opportunity to stop, more will stop. At this intersection in Fremont, California, Jones convinced the city to extend the yellow light by seven-tenths of a second, and violations dropped by over 50%. And in California, where a red light fine is around $500, half as many tickets can mean a dramatic drop in revenue. To operate a red light camera system, and one approach costs roughly $5,500 to $6,000, depending on the city's contract. Once they've entered into the contract, they need a certain number of violations to pay for the system. The insurance industry, however, sees it differently. The safety goal is not to issue tickets. It's to have highly visible, publicized enforcement that prevents people from committing the violations to begin with. Anne McCart is one of the country's top insurance industry researchers on red light cameras. The Institute did a study that looked at large cities with long-standing red light camera programs. We found that red light cameras reduced the fatal red light running crash rate by 24%. Jones, however, says that straight-through violations, the kind that can result in deadly T-bone crashes, are often dwarfed by right-on-red citations. For example, 97% of violations at this Oakland camera are for right-on-red turns, which is still a $500 ticket. Jones calls that gotcha government, and that's the feeling driving anti-camera sentiment around the country. Bills in Arizona, Florida, Iowa, and several other states are calling for an end to the red light robots. In Fremont, California, this is Claire Major reporting for the Lawyers.com channel.